morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So today we have a really fun little trailer. We've done a video on this one before, but we recently reduced the price on it to hopefully find it a new home. This is um, a four horse Cimarron bumper pull. So this is not something you see every day. It is a 2021, uh, so you're still current model year, yet you have a lot more flexibility with this. Say you're pulling an RV or you're driving an RV and you still need to get your horses to and from shows or haul them across country. This is a really, really great option because you have tons of tax storage. Um, we've equipped it with a lot of upgraded features, more like what you will see on our living quarters trailers. Um, yet you can hook it up behind a regular truck, your RV, and you can get where you need to go. So let's kind of start up here at the front. We kind of did some fun things up here. This is something you won't see on a, on a bumper pull trailer very often. This trailer weighs about 6,000 pounds empty. It's just under 6,000 pounds. So nobody wants to have to crank that up and down. So we actually equipped it with an electric over hydraulic jack. So just at the push of a button, you can go up and down um, with this trailer. It makes it really easy to hook up. Uh, you don't have to hurt your back doing a top wind jack. We've also equipped it with this adjustable coupler here. This has a, a 25,000 pound um, adjustable coupler. So you, if you're hooking up to a motorhome, sometimes you need to be a little more specific of, of where your placement is. So this is very easy to change out um, and make it fit exactly where you need to on that RV or truck. So really cool feature. It might be overkill for a bumper pull this size, but we'd rather be safe than sorry. So really nice little feature here. You've got the, the diamond plate on the lower here. So if you are traveling behind something, it just kind of protects that from road blast a little bit better. Um, really big nose, gives you lots of storage in here. So this is your front tack on this trailer and it's a lot bigger than you'll see on a standard bumper pull. It's actually a four foot nine inch tack. Um, we've equipped it to begin with with this fold down step. So if you're getting in and out of this trailer, it's gonna be really easy to, to walk straight in and throw your saddles back on that post there. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. This trailer is eight foot wide, so you don't have any running boards to kind of rely on, but this is way easier than running boards anyways to get in and out. On this door here, you have this swing out blanket bar. It moves in and out on a gas shock really easy, nice and smooth. Um, one thing that we make a big point of here at TransWest is a lot of times you're doing things one-handed. You're either leading a horse, you've got a bunch of stuff in your hands. So we need to make it as easy as possible to do with one hand. So just having this here move in and out really easy is a really nice little feature. You got a brush box down below for all your grab and go items. Um, these Cimarron's come in, everyone gets a user's manual. So in here you'll have all your warranty information. Um, you've got your lion's head tire warranty. So for those of you that haven't watched these videos, Cimarron comes with these tire, lion's head warranties on their tires. It's a one year no question asked. If you have a road hazard that uh, makes your tire unrepairable, they will send you a new one or refund you for the purchase of a new tire. Um, they do a two year roadside assistance and then a five year against any manufacturer's defects. So it's a really good war warranty just on the tires. And then Cimarron has a warranty on top of that of essentially a three year hitch to bumper and an eight year structural. So Cimarron really stands behind their trailers. They know they build a high quality trailer that's gonna last a very, very long time. So they are very confident standing behind it for that long. So as we work our way in here, this is probably one of the nicest bumper bull tack rooms you'll ever be in. Um, we've got this radius nose here. And since we had this room, we wanted to, we had Cimarron go ahead and make us some custom shelves here. Cimarron is a custom built trailer company. So pretty much as long as the engineers sign off on it, they're usually willing to give it a try. So they were able to build these shelves for us. 
it's nice you can get things off the floor keep it more organized this is at an easier height to grab your grab your essentials so these little shelves are a nice addition and you don't have a sharp point it's a nice radius so you get a lot more storage space Underneath here, this is where you have your battery. Um, that It helps you operate your hydraulic jack as well as you can run all your lights off of this. So if you're not hooked up to a, a truck or an RV and you need to get in here at night and see what you're doing, maybe throw some tack on your horse um, and you don't want to do it in the dark, you can turn on that, that battery. Just disconnect, see how it's green right now? That means you have power going to the trailer um, and you can uh, run all your lights off of that. The nice thing about that battery disconnect is if you accidentally leave a manger light on or somebody turns on one light, you forget about it. You don't have to go up to your trailer and find that that it is uh, your jack is dead. You just turn that to red and you all the power shuts off of this trailer. It's really, really nice little safety feature there. This removable post right here, um, if you ever needed to haul a little bit more, maybe you just have a tack trunk that you're moving in and out, you can take this whole post out. Um, these are adjustable on this actual post, so if you've got some bigger saddles that you maybe want to give a little more space to, you just loosen these bolts on the top and bottom and you can slide them up and down. If you need more blanket bars, you can add another blanket bar to this post or even add another saddle holder. So these are really adjustable. All Cimarron's have these adjustable both saddle um, posts. It makes it really easy to customize and get it exactly how you want, which Cimarron is a big advocate of. They want these trailers to be very person personalized and adjustable for your lifestyle. So right here, we have this whole partition wall carpeted. Um, there's a couple really nice features about that. Number one, all your bridles and head stalls are very expensive, so we want to protect them, make it a little bit softer landing as you're going down the road. Number two is aluminum with your bits. It would scratch up and it wouldn't look very nice. We want this to, to look nice and clean for years to come. And number three is the carpet helps kind of dampen some of the noise. Your horses are right on the other side of this wall, so if you have bits swinging back and forth against this, it's just really uncomfortable for them. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. We want our horses to be as comfortable as possible on these trailers, so it's really nice to have this whole wall carpeted. Also just gives it a really clean finished look. Right here, you've got 24 bridle hooks. Um, so if you're somebody that just can't stop buying bridles, you have plenty of room here for all of those. You've even got some additional hooks in the broom closet in the back. So this is really, really great space to, you can throw all your bridles here. You're never gonna have to go to a show without your favorites. Um, just really, really nice use of space here. This is another feature that we try and include in a lot of our inventory units. Um, it's a 25 gallon corner tank. It barely takes up any space. It fits really nicely back in that corner um, and it's nice and strapped in. If you're traveling and you're worried about your horses getting somewhere and not liking the taste of the water, we've all got those really piggy horses, you can bring your water from home. You know, you never know when you're going to end up um, having any truck issues or anything like that. So having your own water, um, you're not depending on, on going from place to place. Maybe you're two hours away from home and you get stranded for the night. You have the ability to take care of your horses and make sure that they're watered. So that's a really nice feature to have on all of our trailers. Last but not least, I don't know if Jody can see this, but we did equip this trailer with OptiBright lights. So those OptiBright lights, they're, they're an improvement over our standard LED. We try and use LED in all our trailers. It's a lot less um, energy draw. They last a lot longer. But these OptiBrights are just kind of a step above. They're like, they're like LED lights on steroids. So at night, this throws off so much light, especially against this white here. Um, it'll be like daylight in here. I think that this is a huge upgrade for those people that if you need to um, ruffle around and find your stuff in here, you're going to be really appreciating the fact that we put the OptiBright lights on. We've started doing that on all of our inventory pieces. It's not a huge um, expense to upgrade it, but we think it is a big worthwhile expense. So the rest of this trailer is equipped pretty well as well. So 
the, the tack is for the people, but we did a lot of this back here for the horses um, in safety. So you do have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles on this trailer. So you're hauling four horses, but you have a lot of axle underneath you. You're not gonna be worried about what you're hauling in there. Um, right here, we also did block these axles by about two inches. Gives you a little bit more clearance, especially if you're really, really long on your trailer and truck combo. Um, it's just really nice that you're not gonna have to worry about, about that. This is something we do on all of our inventory that's over 26 feet, but we decided to throw it on this one as well. If you're hooked up to an RV, you're gonna be really, really long. And people that are next to you might not know that you're trying to get over. Um, you're eight feet wide, so they can't see, probably can't see what, what you're signaling on your vehicle. So having this amber uh, turn signal on each side of the trailer just is a really nice feature. People can kind of see that you're trying to make a move over um, if they're next to you. It just is a really good safety feature to have on these trailers. So since we figured you're gonna be really, really long with whatever you're hooked up to, it's just kind of a nice little added, added safety feature. This is something we don't do on all of our trailers. It's kind of rare on our bumper pulls. Um, but like I said, Cimarron's a custom built trailer company, so we can do what the engineers allow us to do. So we've done something more like what we do on a lot of our living quarters trailers where we've done drop downs on the, on the hip side. I love this feature because number one, you can get a lot more airflow through. Um, number two, if you're feeding your horses out of your mangers, sometimes you can get too much air blowing around in there and that haze going back in their faces. So what I really like, and so one of my customers actually um, was adamant about having drop downs on her hip side. She said she can keep those front windows closed or at least just use the, use the windows, not put the whole drop down down on their head side. And she can open these and they get plenty of airflow, but that hay, hay is not blowing around in, in their faces. So it just makes it a little bit more comfortable for your horses. Uh, we figure that somebody that's using this type of trailer is probably driving all the way across country quite a bit. So by having those drop downs, you know, if you're going uh, from the East Coast and you're landing in Arizona, it's a lot hotter in Arizona. So having that ability to have a lot more ventilation for your horses and just a lot more flexibility is something that I think is a really, really nice feature. I mentioned that um, if you need to tack up your horse at night, they've made it really easy to do so. We did a huge 16 inch awning light on that top rail there. Um, so you can actually, it'll, it's the same, same theory with those Optibrite lights, those LEDs will throw out a lot of light at night. You'll be able to really see what you're doing. It'll make it really, really easy for you. We've also upgraded the number of button lights we have on this top rail. It looks really cool going down the road. People are gonna know where you are. Um, and I think it just, honestly, it, it makes your trailer look really cool while also having safety features. So we figured storage is pretty, pretty um, useful on this trailer, especially if you're hauling it with a motorhome, you probably don't have a truck bed to throw extra hay in. So we did a six foot hay rack up top on this trailer. Um, I like that it doesn't just start right at the back end, so it gives you a space to be able to step up on that trailer and throw your hay in. This is an easy angle ladder. Um, that means you're not just crawling straight up the side of the trailer if you need to go throw stuff down. Uh, it just makes it really, really easy. When you're done, you just, you just move it back up and it sits nicely in there, um, not bothering anything. So really, really great added uh, storage space up there. If you don't ever wanna use your hay rack, maybe you don't have a tractor to put hay up there, um, or maybe you're afraid of heights. <laughs> we do have on the first stall, if you're only hauling three horses, we do have a stud divider on that first one with an escape door. So you can always throw extra stuff up there without worrying about it coming back into your horses. Got a big single door here, and I do have it clipped back. So if you're loading horses in and out, you don't have to worry about wrestling a big heavy door. Um, on this back door, you have a window. So we talk about airflow. That back door window allows for a lot of air to come out and over your horse's back. So 
another really um, great ventilation system there. This last divider here is telescoping, so we are able to kind of clip it back if you ever need just a little more space. Maybe you're not hauling horses and maybe you're hauling furniture. So nice to be able to push it back um, every now and again and be able to close the door. Since we're eight feet wide, you do have your wheel wells in here. Um, it gives your horses a little bit more room to stretch out. If you're doing those long journeys or you've got just a really long backed horse, um, this will make it a lot more comfortable for them. And this trailer is actually a little extra tall. We didn't go quite as big as like our warm blood trailers, but we did seven four tall. If you've got a really big quarter horse or um, something that you need to throw in here, they're just going to have a little more headroom, be a little more comfortable. Uh, so we tried to make it a little more appealing to, to a broader audience. We've done padding on all the dividers. Um, so that they can be, you know, if your horses are in here and uh, you need to step on the brakes, they're going to they're gonna land against something soft. But it's also really nice if you've got those light colored horses because this aluminum will actually rub on them. So um, it doesn't hurt them, but if you're going to a show, you don't want to have to wash them when you get there right away. So having the padding, you know, this will be what your horses are up against. They won't get that aluminum rubbed on those lighter, lighter colored horses. So as I mentioned, we did a stud divider on the first stall. We also did the bar type dividers. Um, so if your horses are a little claustrophobic or maybe they want to be able to see their buddies but not mess with them, this is really, really nice. It also allows more air to get through there. So if you're really concerned about airflow, you're going to have plenty of it coming through on this. I know this is a nice upgraded feature that a lot of people appreciate. Last but not least in here, you do have your mangers. So these are 18-inch mangers. Um, it's really nice. You can throw your feed right up in there. And we did just wash it out, so we've um, got some ice in there, but that is not typical. Um, we also did a manger on the first, first door there. So that's not something that you'll typically see. Sometimes we'll do it on our upgraded living quarters, but it is a built-in manger. So you still have the escape door, so if you need to get in and out, you can, but you don't have to worry about having, a, having to stuff a hay bag or a corner feeder for that horse up there. They get just as much of um, a feed bunk as everybody else. You guys are probably wondering what we did on the other side of this wall. The nice thing about this manger setup is it allows us some room to have a broom closet. So storage, 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 that's what we're always kind of talking about here. So I really like this setup because you get an extra place to throw all your buckets, your, your forks, your muck, fit, your muck rakes, everything like that. Um, we've also equipped it with some more bridle hooks. Um, I mentioned in that front tack, there's a little bit more in, in case you're a bridle hoarder. Um, so it's also carpeted behind. You're not gonna ha that horse right there is not gonna have to listen to the bridles clang back and forth. This is really great if you've got your halters that you just want to throw. It's at a really easy spot to grab. You don't have to climb in there to grab it. Um, I really, really like this setup here, and it is a rubber mat on the floor. So if you do have some some maybe messier items, this is really, really easy to clean out. We've also equipped it with an OptiBright light so you can see what you're doing at night. So just some structural things here. Um, we did do the extruded aluminum sides um, kind of right up to the uh, drop down windows. This is really nice if you have a horse tied up here. Um, it's a lot more heavy duty. I always do this, but I always hurt my hands because it doesn't give. Um, but these extruded aluminum sides have actually triple hollows in them. So by giving something a radius, you're giving it strength. Um, so by having these hollow tubes running through here, you're actually increasing the strength of the sides of your trailers quite a bit. Um, I go into detail about the structure of trailers 
uh, in some of my other bumper pull videos. So if you guys want, we, we kind of break down um, the individual parts of everything, I can always send you that. But just know these Cimarron's, they're built like little tanks, um, one of the strongest aluminum trailers on the market. So on these drop downs on the head side, for safety reasons, you're gonna have these, these jail bars here. Um, your horses, you don't want them to stick their heads out at the, in an inopportune time. But what I like about Cimarron's jail bars is they're one piece. So instead of having a bunch of moving parts on them, they're very simple, they're strong, they avoid any metal to metal contact. So we try and make these Cimarron's as quiet as possible for those horses going down the road. So anywhere you see metal, um, where metal could come in contact with metal, you'll usually see a plastic buffer. So they use a high grade plastic because you don't get that cling and rattle that you do on metal on metal. And it actually lasts longer because metal on metal wears faster than metal on plastic. So these are nice heavy duty drop downs. They lock into place with these, with these pop sockets behind. So if you need to run with these down for airflow, you said that's something that's very easy for you to do. Um, on the other side, we discussed that some people will just do the hip sides for the drop downs and then maybe open these windows here so they can get a nice ventilation. You don't have to worry about bugs flying into your horse's face or anything like that. Got little marker lights here so you can see how wide your trailer is at night. Um, especially if you're pulling a really big rig. It's nice to know where your boundaries are so you're not cutting into other lanes. These mangers underneath, not only do they allow you to throw feed up for your horses, make it easier for you so you don't have to stuff hay bags, they also are a great place to throw extra, extra stuff. So horse people, we seem to have a problem with accumulating a lot of stuff. Um, I know, I know you never want to throw anything away because you never know when you're going to need it again. So by having all this extra storage on this bumper pull, you're just setting yourself up for always having what you need. So lots of extra storage under here. Because we did the manger on the escape door, we didn't want to lose any storage there. You have an additional little storage place. This one doesn't go through because you are on the escape door. This is another great place to just throw everything. Everything is keyed the same. So if you need um, to get into any of these, you don't have to carry a million different keys, one for your front door, one for your mangers, one for your drop down. Uh, it just makes it really, really simple to use your trailer. So this is the escape door. Kind of wanted to show you guys the manger on this. It is lined with kick mats, so it's gonna be a lot more sturdy if you've got a horse that likes to paw. You'll notice about Cimarron is they're very horse safe. You're not gonna find really any sharp edges. One of the things I absolutely love about Cimarron's is they're always thinking about the horse. So horses are always trying to scratch themselves on things. They're always trying to injure themselves. So we have to try and outsmart them. That means everything's gonna be really, uh, everything's gonna have a radius to it going to be very horse safe so when you get out there your horse isn't going to have unexplained injuries um, of something sharp they found to rub on. We did a butterfly latch on this escape door. Anywhere we have horses that have access to um, the exterior we try and throw a butterfly latch on it just that way it's an extra safety feature. Um, you're not going to have to worry about did I latch that door all the way and worry about your horse having access to the exterior going down the road. So just another little added safety feature there. All right. So I know everybody loves this trailer. If you loved it, but maybe you couldn't um, justify the price at the beginning. It has been recently reduced. So we are looking to send it to its new home. If you guys want to find this one online, um, you can search the stock number at transwest.com. It is 5N200-535. It is a 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse bumper pull. Um, I know that you guys, whoever ends up with this trailer is just going to be so over the moon with all the features we added on it. So don't wait. If you guys want this, we can get you as much information as you need. 
If you have any questions on it, you can always call me. My cell phone number is 970-309-6368. Um, if you don't want to talk on the phone, I accept text messages at that number too. So I really appreciate everybody tuning in with me today. Thanks for checking out this really cool Cimarron. We'll see you next time.